Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day today in Berlin. I'm heading to studio. I need to record a track and I don't have a room that is acoustically treated at home. So, and they have a, some gear there. So I thought maybe I run a comparison for you. Like I have my ribbon mic in the backpack that I'm using, super cheap. And I have like mid-range large diaphragm condenser out down there. So yeah, bear with me, I'm gonna show you around and maybe uh, run the comparison. See you in a bit. Okay, there we go. This is a standard pirate studio. And let's check what kind of mic do we have. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if you can see it's a yeah, C Electronics 2300. And what I have on me it is that. Okay, so we're gonna be comparing today this ribbon mic with SE2300. Let's get started. So I have a Claret Pre 4 channel, so I'm gonna hook both of them up and run in parallel, so we're gonna get a nice recording. So the way I'm doing it, I'm just putting them a little bit higher, like around my head, so if I uh, handle my clarinet like that, they a little bit like parallel too. To the axle of the axle of the clarinet, so this is how I usually do them. Usually take I usually do a couple takes, uh, checking if the sound is alright, and then taking from there. This is a typical experience at Pirate, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that if you come close to uh, the ventilation. You can hear some music playing. The microphones are picking it up as well, so you can see I'm not talking. Right, and they're picking it up. Yes, the gain side is pretty loud, but it's it's definitely audible. And if you open the door, that's how you can hear that. It's pretty bad, and it's really hard to find um, the time when you come and it will be quiet. Um, I obviously that takes then a lot of cleaning up on the post maybe doing extra take just to ensure you don't have extra sound like bleeding into your recording um, I reached out to support they said sorry it's a common space we can't do anything about it noise is a part of the music I guess that's right all right I got a couple takes everything seems fine um, I think I'm heading home now and gonna check what's uh, what I've got so I'm home, I picked up the tracks, I edited them a little bit, put them into project and then exported to a new project that you can um, compare the two and I can play them uh, for you. So um, I have two tracks here, obviously there 102 is for the ribbon mic, the SE 2300 is a large condenser microphone and I recorded the clarinet, it has uh, some low register, some upper register and you can hear the difference, uh, hopefully uh, I'm gonna play them uh, for you. I'll be switching between uh, the tracks or as I'm playing, I'm gonna be putting some of the parts on the loop so you can hear the same part multiple times. So let's go for it I guess. Uh, we can start with uh, with this section, I guess. You can hear that the ribbon mic is more rounded, it's more like centered sound, whereas the large condenser large diaphragm condenser has more of this buzziness and sharpness to the sound 
which is really good for, let's say, if you're recording vocal or some other uh, instruments, but not for the, the clarinet, apparently. I like the sound of ribbon much more. And I'm gonna play it one more time, that you can hear the difference. So ribbon mic first. Let me find another uh, part, maybe. Uh. Yeah, also upper register. I like it more. It's like more attack is much more softer and a little bit more rounded. Um, so back to the lush. Yeah. Uh, maybe this section as well. And then the same with ribbon mic. Even though I'm like putting there like a special click with my tongue, um, I do like how it is actually uh, sounded in the room. And I think that the ribbon mic is picking it up exactly this, the way that I was expecting it to be. Whereas the SAE2300 uh, is not doing it exactly this. It's more like exaggerated and not very uh, pleasant. Um, one more time. Yeah, it's more like articulating this, um, trying to slap, and uh, it's articulating that. Yeah, and the the main theme of the uh, of the tune. There was some glitch there. I'm gonna correct it later. Didn't notice that while editing. Yeah, there is a glitch. Oh no, that must be Ableton. Oh, sorry for that. That must be something wrong with the editing here. Uh, let me take another part. Yeah, this one is much better. Yep, this one is much better. I was editing the, the ribbon one, uh, the ribbon track first, and then the other one was just uh, synchronized through con content. Is, quant I can pronounce this word. It was contest anyway, synchronized the, the two tracks. Um, so another thing I was trying to do is to replicate the sound of a ribbon mic uh, from the LDC. It didn't work quite well. What I did, I pretty much applied a de-esser um, to some extent and also tried to apply... It's another, my, another project, I'm not going to show it to you, but uh, what I did is, yeah, I applied de and I applied a multiband dynamic compressor from 5000 uh, Hz up uh, minus 2 dB, so I got the sound quite close to ribbon mic, but not exactly, so the overall kind of spectrum and tone was exactly the same but like the attack and some of the like tiny nuances around like changing notes like exactly attack they were like not quite the same so i actually think that um in my case for the clarinet the ribbon mic prefers much better even though this is like low range ribbon mic i don't know this uh, you can get it for i don't know 120 dollars something like that uh, very cheap, much cheaper actually than the um, SE, the LDC mic. Um, it doesn't matter like which kind of a LDC you're going to be using because they all say, share the same characteristic. Like it's very thin film uh, that is vibrating, it's picking up like this 
high frequencies, very, very crisp. And I think that's exactly what people want, but not for the woodwinds. So you actually want to have a little bit more like rounded attack there. I actually find it very pleasing to, to ears and I would really recommend you to, to try it out. You can pick them up secondhand, uh, very cheap, and uh, you should get sound similar to what I presented today. Thanks for watching.